everyone! So today I'm sharing with you a vlog of my recent trip with my family to the York Fair. Now this is America's oldest fair. It started in 1765. It's held in York County, Pennsylvania, and I love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you ever like what you see in one of my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's head to the York Fair. I love the York Fair so much. I grew up coming here every single year. Unfortunately, for the past couple years, just with things going on with my family, like having babies, you know, stuff like that, we haven't been able to go. But this year, I was able to go and meet some siblings and their children, so my kids got to play with their cousins. It was just so much fun and very nostalgic for me, and it's just awesome to create new York Fair memories with my kids. Okay, so the first building we always go to is where all the livestock is housed. So there's cows and goats and sheep and pigs and alpacas, I think. There were all different kinds of animals. So these are all animals from local farms in Pennsylvania. Oh, and here's a sheep getting sheared. <laughs> there's always some interesting activities going on. There's a baby goat. Okay, these sheep are so funny. Once they're sheared, they wear spandex to stay warm. And that one's wearing leopard. I thought that was so hilarious. <laughs> and there's little Sebastian. Okay, so then we headed out towards the midway. Um, you can see the rides and there was all kinds of food and fun out here. We were kind of deciding what to do next. So we wound up underneath the grandstands, which is the main performance venue. There's concerts at the fair every night, and there is tons of great food here. So we're underneath the grandstands at the York Fair, and this is one of my absolute favorite spots. It's the Stoltz Foods Dutch Food Stand, and I actually made a version of their chicken corn chowder last year, which is a video that I'll link for you down below. But they have amazing ham and cheese For their ham and cheese sandwiches, they slice the ham and Swiss cheese paper thin. You can see it there. It, you can see through it. It's awesome. And then they pile it high on these potato buns. The sandwiches are out of this world. And there's the shoe fly pie, which is kind of a molasses-based Amish Pennsylvania Dutch pie. Very classic in this part of the state. And that is the chicken corn soup, which I just made for dinner tonight too. It is amazing. Now, sadly, Coors Orange Aid is no longer there, but there was this new Orange Aid stand there this year, and we thought it was pretty good. Whoopie pies are a classic Pennsylvania Dutch dessert, so they're all over the fair. And in fact, my sister just shared one of her close friend's authentic PA Dutch whoopie pie recipes with me and said, I can share it on my channel with all of you. So stay tuned for that. Some of my other favorite foods at the fair include that cream of crab soup from Mr. Bill's you just saw. Up ahead, there's a stuffed pretzel stand that we'll talk about in a minute. To the left here are the loaded baked potatoes, which are awesome. Bricker's French fries, classic. And then this is all underneath that quintessential York Fair sign on the grandstands. So this is Uncle Paul's Stuffed Pretzels food truck, and this has been around, I looked it up, since 2007, so not too long, but it is a huge hit. It's been featured on Cooking Channel and Food Network. My husband and I tried the steak and cheese stuffed pretzel, which was amazing, as you can tell by my reaction. So good. We never tried that flavor before. And then Jack had what I usually get, the pepperoni pizza stuffed pretzel, and this was Amazing, as expected. You can see that super thin pretzel crust filled to the brim with cheese and pepperoni and sauce. Next up is Old West Cinnamon Rolls, and this is hands down our favorite sweet treat at the fair. You can see they are gigantic. You can order them with frosting to spread all over the top, and they are just covered in this cinnamon sugar goo. We were too stuffed to eat ours at the fair, but we definitely got one to take home and enjoy later.
So right now we're in Horticulture Hall, which is my absolute favorite building at the York Fairgrounds. It might seem crazy, but it is filled with all different plants and flowers and fruits and vegetables and everything is judged. So people from the local community submit their entries for like biggest pumpkin and best apples. And then there's first, second and third prizes in all the different categories. And it just smells nostalgic in here. It smells so fresh, like a garden or a greenhouse or something. This is just like quintessential York Fair for me. So in addition to all that amazing produce, I love the flowers on display. And these are always my favorite. They look like velvet. If you happen to know the name of the flower, comment below because I forgot to look it up. To my knowledge, this was a new stand this year at the fair, the Stroopy Company. Basically, they specialize in warm, freshly made Stroop waffles, which are kind of like a waffle cone cookie filled with caramel, and some of them are dipped in chocolate. We tried some free samples, and they were delicious. This is the Hall of Crafts. So you have homemade quilts and pillows, cross-stitch, artwork, photography, and you're also surrounded by antiques. There's just so many different things to look at in this building. Plus, conveniently, if it's a hot day, it's air conditioned. <laughs> Although, honestly, the weather that day was perfect. It was beautiful. My kids and their cousins were on this Ferris wheel. You can totally count me out for that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but any spinny rides or rides that go back and forth, I just can't do anymore. The older kids were on this one too. And they had an awesome time. This was a brand new stand this year, and we tried their cinnamon roasted pecans and cashews, which were both delicious. Although I have to say my Aunt Dorothy's recipe for candy pecans is even better, and I'll link my recipe video for that below. All in all, we had such a fun time with my family making new memories at the York Fair. Thanks so much for watching.